Chillin' on the beat Have you heard? Side chicks are stealing husbands up and down. So my dear married friends, you are not safe. I'm sorry to break this news to you. If you are married, your husband probably has a side chick. If he doesn't, then he's currently working on it. He is going to get one eventually, guaranteed. I said so. Go do your homework, investigate him. You will find out that he has a side chick or he's in the process of getting one. I'm telling you the truth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Johnson Joy. I'm back again with another video like I never left. So I'm sure you guys already know what you want to watch and you've seen the intro, you've seen the title. You saw the thumbnail, you know exactly what you're about to watch. So, this is a video that I've been, you know, circulating online since it was published, I think, um, some days ago. Yes, I am not too sure about it. But when I checked um, the date it was published on YouTube, it is January. So, just some days ago. So, it's about this lady you are seeing a picture, or you've seen a video. For those of you who want to see the full version, I'm going to be putting the full version at the end of this video after I talked about, I, I finished talking about what I think about this video. So, I'm putting the full version there for you. So, you can go, um, you can go watch it. You can go watch it. So, I've been seeing so many reaction videos about this, though I didn't watch so much. The only one I watched was um, a lady condemning you know what she has said so many people talking they were like oh she's not married you should go get married and stop talking like this and even some comments that are so so annoying and irritating so people were just like in general like oh um she's talking from african perspective because she lives in africa and she have the african uh, mentality this and that blah 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 like so many 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 comments so i'm not just even gonna go there because i think and i'm not mentioning names either because I think people are entitled to their own opinion to what they think, to how they reason, to things they want to do. So people are entitled to their opinion. So I'm not saying um, it is bad to say what she's saying is wrong or it is ba bad to support what she's saying. Like for me, I, I think what she, I, I don't see anything wrong in what she has said, like seriously. So this is the first thing she said here. She firstly made mention of, you know, the scarcity of husband. She said so. If you want to hear from the horse's mouth, no problem. You're going to see that at the tail end of the video. She said that there are scarcity of husband. But this is really truth. This is really truth. It's difficult, eh? especially in Africa, even in Europe. It's difficult for you to really want to see a man. Europe is even more worse because once you are legally married to a woman. When I talk about being married, I'm not talking about, okay, you are pregnant for a guy and you guys decide to start staying together. Okay, he must take responsibility of his child. He must take responsibility of you because you stay under him, blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow you guys can decide to stay apart or you have a baby for him. I I'm not trying to mock anybody because anybody can be in any situation. I'm just trying to explain things for you guys so you understand what I'm talking about. Or maybe you, you have a baby for him. You guys haven't staying together, but um, you take him as your husband and you know he used to come along. You guys, you know, used to see, he come to the house, maybe he stay for one month, two weeks, then he goes back to his own apartment and you say, oh, this is my husband. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you being married to somebody like either you are doing the traditional right or you are doing the legal right, like going to the court, going to the registry and getting married. You hardly see men nowadays who actually want to get married. Yes, there are still men out there, but you hardly see. And sometimes maybe you have the issue or the problem of not being compatible, like maybe the men you see, they don't like you for who you are, or you don't like those men for who they are. So it's really, it's really still difficult somehow to get husband. I'm not talking about boyfriend, you guys are staying together and people believe you guys are a couple. No, like real husband that's going to stay with you for forever, like forever. So it's really scarce. That's the basic truth. It's scarce to, to get husband, like to get your own husband. Your own personal husband. Okay. If somebody, like she's talking about um, how to prevent your husband from getting a side chick. So if somebody is a side chick outside trying to steal your husband, it's a different case. But getting your own husband, it's really difficult. It takes the grace of God. You need to walk towards it. It takes time and all those stuff. Okay. 
I might be wrong in what I think, but I, I, I said earlier on, everybody's entitled to the opinion. If you think what I'm saying or what I think about this video is wrong or is not good or is not correct, or you want to come for me to, to say, oh, go get married because I'm single too, but I'm not searching anyway. <laughs> I'm single, but I'm not searching anyway. She's single and she's searching. So I am not searching. So you can come for me and say, oh, go and get married. So you know the way they be for body, this and that. Please. For, you, for those of you saying she should go and get married, do you want to give her your husband? Do you want to borrow her your husband? If you want to borrow her your husband, talk oh, then you leave your husband for her so she will marry <laughs> because it's not easy to see husband. So that I think is truth. And the first thing she talked about is have you seen your husband day and night? Like she said, you know, we are not children here. So you guys understand what I mean by servicing him day and night. I know all these things are not like, it's not a guarantee to not allow your man to have a side chick. That is the truth. Anyway, it's not a guarantee. But I think you should do your best and leave the rest for God. When you do your best, you know, okay, I'm doing my best. And once when your husband decides to cheat or he decides to, you know, to bring himself down so low to cheat, then you can really feel bad and, you know, like face him and be like, oh, I've actually been trying my best. I've actually been doing my best. And you still decide to cheat. At that point in time, he himself is going to feel guilty because... Sometimes men cheat for just no reason. They are just being so sarcastic. Like, they just want to do what men do. They just want to feel like, oh, I'm a man. Men do this and I'm doing the same. So sometimes men cheat for just so really crazy reason. Not mm, probably mainly all these things. But these things she's talking about are things that a normal woman who is married should know this, should do these things. So it's not only by... By doing these things so your husband don't get the side chick. But it's just a normal thing you should do. So I wonder why people are attacking us. Servicing your husband. Is it a bad thing to service your husband? The people that are going against it, don't they know that you really have to service your husband? Your husband service you, you service him. You guys will service yourself. Do they want to say they don't know these things? Because the thing now is it's just somehow to me like, I don't understand. People coming to her, attacking her and all those stuff. The second thing she made mention on here, she said, I'm um, serving fresh food every day. Actually, she was like, you know, um, she doesn't care what job you do, blah, 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 and all those stuff. Yes, I know it's not really easy to, to you know, to eat fresh food every day. Especially people who live in Europe and they work, they don't have the time. In Africa, at least, it depends, it depends on your kind of work. Though she, she was like, oh, she, don't, she doesn't really care. If you can eat fresh food every day, you can afford to, to, to take your time to eat fresh food every day, it's good for your health. It's different from those food you cook, you put in the freezer, it takes a long time, or you cook them. In Africa, there's no even fridge, there's no freezer. Because even when you have it, you don't have light to, to use these things. So many homes, they don't even care to, to buy one. Why some that they're in a, in a place where, you know, electricity is a little bit okay or electricity is perfect there in Nigeria. So they buy these things and they enjoy it, you know. Yeah, you can put your things in the freezer. You can, some people even cook for one month. Okay. But I feel like sometimes when people talk, just pick the good side of it and leave the rest. Pick the one that you think is good for you. Pick the one that you think is reasonable. Don't just come to social media and start attacking people. Yes, I attack people too. And I know one day somebody's going to come for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just know that. Because I attack people a lot. I attack people a lot. But when people do something that is really, really extremely bad, you say, okay, I think this thing is bad. But when people are saying things like, all these things she's saying are just normal things like, normally, should she tell you to eat food for one month? Should she tell you to not to service your husband? Should she tell you not to respect your husband? Because that's the number three point she, she made mention. She said, bow down for your husband anytime you talk to him. When he comes from work, you know, bow down, greet him. Especially in public, you know, men love to be respected. Men love to be respected. And most of those men dropping this comment in the comment section are people who will go and sanction their wife in the house and feel like, oh, you don't respect me enough. You're feeling too proud because you're in Europe. If we are to be in Africa, you wouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. They're having issues with their wife for their wife not respecting them. And they come to social media. They go to comment section and start dropping comments like, oh, because he's an Africa perspective. Even if you're in Europe, does that mean you shouldn't respect your husband? Does that mean you shouldn't bow for your husband? Yes, I know everything has limit and there's a way you can do your thing. Like in Africa, I know, uh, according to the Yoruba tradition, like the, the Yoruba land where I come from, you know, women kneel down to greet. And um, it does not necessarily mean you must 
put your two legs on the ground to greet, but you know, you can bow a little bit and bend your leg a little bit to greet, like, you know, good morning, oh, welcome, my husband, you know, all those kind of things. Yes, that's what we do. But in Europe, okay, because of the civilization, you want to live your life the way people are living their life too. Okay, you want to be a feel among. But it does not necessarily mean you... It does, it's not compulsory you live your life the way people are living it. You can live your life for yourself. You can decide that, okay, in my house, I want to do these things. Okay, even when I'm outside, I want to do these things. Nobody's going to owe you for it. Everybody lives their life the way they want, especially in Europe. So... She, she, she would not have come and tell you, oh, disrespect your husband or talk to your husband anyhow. Yeah, these things are things that people are supposed to apply to, uh, like things that you're supposed to do. Apart from the fact that, you, so that your husband wouldn't have side chick. No, these are things that you're supposed to do. Even the Bible says, um, women should be submissive to their husband and the husbands should love their wife. They should show their wife love. So I'm seeing nothing wrong. I don't know why people are just against this woman. No, me, I don't know. I don't know. Should you insult your husband in public? Should you talk to your husband anyhow in public? If you even want to talk to your husband anyhow, it should be between two of you. And you will say to it. Maybe it, may, it pisses you off or it makes you hungry. And you know, you just want to rehat and you just rehat due to the fact that you're hungry. That should even be within and not in public. So what has she what she has said wrong is what I don't know. I'm still waiting. Maybe somebody is going to drop that in the comment section. The comment section is open. Drop what you think about it, about this video. Drop what you think. Do you think she's wrong? And do you think I'm wrong too? Because to me, I'm here to support the motion. Not just only because to prevent your husband from having side chick, but these are the normal things you're supposed to do. When your husband comes back to, from work, you know, you're supposed to go meet him, give him a hug, give him a kiss, show him some sign of respect that you acknowledge his presence, that he's just coming. It's not, it doesn't necessarily mean you go and bow down or you go... Just speak the positivity in everything people do. Don't only see negative aspects. You will come online, come and... It's not you to come and tell people the truth. Don't let people freak you up with the things they do, with the irritating things they, they do in, in, in their, in their clo closet. And they will come online and come and say, oh, I'm a feminist, I'm a this, I'm a that. Oh, equal right. Yes, equal right. I believe in e equality too. Because even the Bible says, um, he, 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 um, God took the rib from Adam, from the left, from his side. I don't know if it's the left side or the right side, so don't let me go there. Don't let me say from the left side. He took the rib of Adam from his side and he created Eve with it. You understand what that means? Because so many people don't understand what it means. It means we are to be equal. We are to be ethmates. We are to be like, you know, but there should be respect according to what the Bible says. So the Bible didn't say the man should, uh, should treat the wife bad because he's superior, because he's this, because he's that. No. We should actually be equal anyway, but the respect should be there. So that's what she's just preaching. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe as people are saying, oh, she should go and marry. Maybe somebody will come and tell me to go and marry. And I will ask you, if you want to give me your, <laughs> if you want to give me your husband to marry, no problem. I will marry. <laughs> I'm not single anyway. And I'm not searching. I'm not married. <laughs> so the last thing she talked about is, you know, dressing sexy in the house and covering up outside. So pertaining to that, I, I, I am actually not going to say much because in this part of the world where I live, people dress the way they want, even outside. But to me, I dress the way I want. Yes, everybody's ac ac accountable to the way they want to dress, to the way you want to look. To the way you want to behave outside, it's um, none of my business anyway. But I think you yourself as a lady, you should know that you, you would be addressed, not even ladies, but men. You would be addressed the way you dress. You need to dress responsibly, irrespective of if you're married or if you're not married. So these are just normal things people can come up to say. These are normal things that, like, if you're getting married and you still have a mom, and you want to really get married, and your mom is still alive, these are the normal things she can talk to you about, whether being a Christian or a Muslim or anything. Your mom can come to tell you, oh, now you're getting married, you know. Um, you know, you should respect your husband, especially in public. Cook for him on time. Give him fresh food. Um, make sure you, you, you know, you eat healthy. Um, respect your husband. Um, you know, dress um, appropriately when you're outside or you're going to an occasion with your husband. These are just normal things. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't know why people are against it anyway. But to me, I think these are normal things. So if there's anyone you think is not good enough or you think is not okay, pick the one that is good for you. Pick the one that is good for you and use it. 
at least all men cheat as people used to say but um i think there's still some good men out there and there's no actual reason because men would actually come back with stupid reasons why they cheated or why they want to cheat or why men cheat i've i've really not seen any good reason why men cheat because you saw your wife you know your wife before you get married to her you guys have been together you know how things are going on between the, the, the both of you and um before you think of getting married you should be sure the person you're getting married to is your talk mate you should be sure that this person is your playmate this person is someone you can talk to so when anything is going on wrong or there are some things she has been doing and she's no longer doing them you should be able to say oh babe what you're doing now i don't like it this is not the way you were before i'd like you to change you know do some things like this that will make me feel happy with you or you can always talk to your husband oh my dear you always come back late or you don't take me out for a date any longer you know we don't go out together we don't longer have the family time like just make sure that you are you are getting married to your best friend that in any point in time when things are going wrong you guys can always talk about it but these are normal things that you are supposed to do so if people are now i don't know i really don't know maybe they're saying oh because she say bow down bow down it doesn't really necessarily mean bow down because she says service him day and night even when you're sick does not necessarily mean when you're sick a man who is reasonable would know that when his wife is sick really sick you would not say you want to do such thing with her so it's not possible she's just trying to let you know that satisfy your man that's it i'm not saying this thing she said is enough reason for your man not to cheat because men cheat for for nothing sometimes they just want to cheat i'm telling you the truth some men just want to cheat because those are what these are what men do they want to feel among like oh my friends they have side cheek oh why am i not having side cheek they they, they, they laugh at me that i don't have side cheek blah, blah, blah. let me just do it you know what i'm talking about so to me i think there's nothing wrong with what this lady say for people who are against it you are free because um that's your opinion to me i think no um if if uh very soon i'm gonna um, i'm gonna be putting the full video for you guys who want to see it if you see it and you accept this video you think is good please if you have a facebook page also follow our facebook page please follow our facebook page and also i'm gonna say for people who are saying she's doing this because of popularity she's looking for a cheap popularity please go and do your video and be popular or go and do something to be popular even by risk itself that is doing this is whole thing. I said this in one of my videos. It might not be a gay. Because sometimes, somehow, he would come out and say, Oh, I'm not a gay. Oh, have you seen me with any man? If you see me with any man doing that kind of a thing, come and prove it. That means he's indirectly telling you guys that he's not a gay. Even though he's dressing like a lady, he's behaving like a lady. It's just market strategy. And he's just doing those things to be popular, to sell his bob lash and to sell his uh, palette. If you don't do those things, if you don't make trouble, no, no, not really trouble like that, like, if it does not make create a scene online, who is going to remember Bob Risky is existing? Who is going to remember, oh, Bob sells, um, Bob Lash, Bob sells this, Bob is an ambassador to this, that, blah, blah, blah. Who is going to know? Nobody's going to know. So, people do things to be popular. People say things to be popular. And for crying out loud, what she has said is not really bad. So, if she's doing this for popularity, you guys should let her be. And help her to be popular, please. As you guys are doing the the video to talk bad about her, remember to tell people to, to follow her up on Facebook. So, guys, <laughs> you, the next video you're going to be seeing is a video of her talking. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. We do a lot of things on this channel, celebrity G's, viral video, latest news update, things happening around the world. And I'm sure you don't want to miss out. So, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. But before then, you all stay blessed. Peace are stealing husbands up and down so my dear married friends you are not safe i'm sorry to break this news to you if you are married your husband probably has a side chick if he doesn't then he's currently working on it he is going to get one eventually guaranteed i said so go do your homework investigate him you will find out that he has a side chick or he's in the process of getting one i'm telling you the truth now there are things you can do to prevent your husband from having a side chick or if he already if he already has one you can do this exact same things and you'll be able to pull him back all to yourself these guidelines has been tested and trusted most women that have very faithful husbands are following these guidelines yes i'm telling you the sincere truth what are they 
guideline number one if you do not want your husband to stray first of all let me make um let me say something real quick ladies you know there is a scarcity of husband yes so if you're one of those lucky people that managed to secure one and you are married you need to do anything and everything possible to hold on to him because if you don't there is a lady out there hungry to have him and you know that so you must do everything possible to make sure he does not get a side chick because that side chick can turn into his wife whether you like it or not yeah the struggle is is, is real yes anyway going back to the guideline if you do not want your husband to stray you must do these four things what are they number one you must service him yes service him day and night whenever he wants it you know what i mean we are all mature here if he wants it give it to him it doesn't matter if you are sick tired or on your deathbed give it to him all day every day no question asked whether you are in this mood or not give it to him and think about it ladies if you give it to him whenever he wants then he will not have the energy to go do it with someone else it's simple mathematics come on that's rule number one rule number two serve him fresh food every single day I don't care what you do for a living. You need to go to the market every single day, buy fresh ingredients, and cook your husband freshly cooked meal. He's your husband. He deserves fresh food every day. Do I need to repeat that? Number three. Make sure you bow down to your husband anytime you talk to him. When he comes back from work, you greet him at the door. Welcome, sir. You bow. Whenever you have him food, sir, here is your food. Even when you want to make love to him, you know what I'm talking about. Do it consistently. Men like to be respected. They expect that from you, especially in public. When you are in public and you are talking to your husband, bow, show the word that he is your Lord. You heard me. Now, now that's guideline number three. Guideline number four. You must dress sexy in the house. It's a must. Go find the latest lingerie and wear them in the house. But, there is a but to that rule. When you go outside, you must dress conser conservatively. Meaning, you must not wear a skirt that goes above your knee. Your dresses, skirt, whatever you wear must go below your knee. You must wear things that does not show cleavage. Forget what I'm wearing. I'm still single and I'm still searching for a husband. So it's okay for me to wear something like this. But you as a married woman should wear something that does not show your chest whatsoever. Keep it covered. Show your husband some respect and always cover your hair. Do you see how beautiful my hair wrap is? That's how you should be dressing. Skirts, dresses, trousers below your knee. Cleavage covered. Hair covered. And you look neat but when you are in the house you must wear the most sexiest clothes ever come on he's your husband follow these four guidelines and i guarantee you your husband will not have a side chick stamped take it to the bank i guarantee it look around dress ask ladies those ladies that their husbands are faithful to them they are following my guidelines yes they are now, follow these rules and you will not regret it. Remember, this is the gospel. According to Blessing in here, the husband hunter, a.k.a. wife material, 1,000 yards. Pass this message along. Okay, bye-bye. Okay.